Ladies and gentlemen, Greg McCloskey from ForexLive.com. In this video, I'm going to take a look at two major currency pairs, one the Aussie versus US dollar, and the other one, it's just a currency, the New Zealand versus US dollar. So let's get started. All right, uh, let's uh, start by taking a look at the hourly chart of the Aussie versus US dollar. And you can see that uh, over this uh, time period right here, the price has been uh, confined uh, between uh, the 0 0.6433 on the downside, 0 0.6553 on the top side. This is the hourly chart. So uh, that's five, that's 10, about 15 uh, trading days, about three weeks of trading uh, with the price in between this, this these levels going up and down. What we've seen more recently is that the sellers, uh, in, uh, including the uh, at the high price uh, in trading yesterday, moved up to the moving average. Uh, we have lower highs through here. So the sellers are trying to take more control. More, uh, Moreover, we uh, held below the 100 200 hour moving averages here and push the price out to the downside. We are trading near the lows of the day and also near the lows that we've seen over this 15 a day or so period. Uh, this low low area was defined by different swing lows through here, here, uh, here, uh, including uh, uh, on Monday's trade and again uh, here today. Uh, so a number of different times that the price has moved down to that low and each of the time the price bounced to the upside, bounced bigger to the upside, bounced to the upside, bounce uh, to the upside through here. So uh, there's a, a lot of reason why uh, traders might think that uh, this area is a support area. At the very least, traders can buy against this area, lean against this area with the stop if the price goes below that level. Alternatively, if you are more inclined to uh, go with the selling bias that we've seen from uh, lower highs through here, this is the uh, area that you want to see get to and through on the downside, get through 0 0.6433 and it opens up the door for further selling pressure. Taking a look at the daily chart, uh, that would uh, put the price at the lowest level going back to this uh, period right here. This is August 2024. Uh, and uh, this uh, low right here was in uh, April of 2024. These are the two lows for the year. Get below this uh, floor area right through here. Opens the door for a rotation back toward, toward these lows right here, which uh, come in between 0 0.6337 and 0 0.6363. That's what's in store if we're able to get below. If we do hold support, then we could see a bounce out from here on the disappointment and the failure of breaking below that key support level. Let's take a look at the New Zealand versus US dollar. And this currency pair is not trading at lows, but it is trading nevertheless at a swing area that I have earmarked here, defined by a number of different swing lows and swing highs. Here are the swing highs right here, which have formed. Uh, a ceiling here before uh, breaking to the upside and basing against this level moving higher through here. So we saw moves out to the downside here, moves to the upside through here, moves to the upside right here. And in trading this week, uh, this week we've seen a low low price uh, within that area on a Monday, low price within that area on Tuesday, a couple of them as a matter of fact. And uh, today we're uh, moving down toward the low of the swing area at 0 0.58559. If we break below this level, it opens the door for further selling uh, in this uh, currency pair with the eyes uh, down toward uh, the low prices that we saw in the month of November uh, near 0 0.5814 and 0 0.57. Uh, 5797 let's call it 0 0.58 alternatively if we do hold support again right through here and we've done it over the last uh, three trading days uh, bounce back up uh, would uh, next uh, target the uh, 200 hour moving average the 100 bar moving average on the four hour chart and then the 100 hour moving average up here uh, if you get above those levels and stay above those levels we tried to get above it yesterday we couldn't sustain that momentum but if we get above that level it would open the door for a run toward the 50 percent retracement so that's my uh two uh, looks at uh, two of the uh, commodity currency pairs in the uh, uh, Pacific uh, uh, region, uh, the Aussie versus US dollar and the New Zealand versus US dollar. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.